Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today we are going to be storing new photo cards that I have. Um, I have them off to my right right here, so let me just bring them in frame. So we actually have a good bit. So we have a lot of Itzy, uh, Kill My Doubt, and just some like Itzy merch cards from other DVD and POVs and stuff like that. Uh, some Everglow, some Red Velvet, some G-Idol, and then a couple Espa cards as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into that today. Also, I did want to mention, uh, I did start a Twitter for my YouTube page. Um, so if you want to follow me there, I'll probably just be posting, you know, stuff about my collection, obviously my YouTube videos, random K-pop thoughts. Uh, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll put it in the description. And I also have it on my about page. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and follow, give me a follow. Um, but anyway, let's get into the photo card storing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start in my G Idol slash Soloist slash Blackpink binder. Um, I do have just a couple G Idol cards, um, obviously a couple Oogies, and then these World Tour cards. If you saw my photo card haul, um, then you would know that I was questioning whether or not these were real. I bought them under the assumption that they probably weren't real and that they were fan made. I looked into it deeper, they are indeed fan made. Um, but I'm still going to store them in my binder just because I think they're really pretty. And yeah, so let's go ahead and start with the cards. I'm not sure how I want to do this. So the Oogies, I know I want to put right here. So we're going to take this out. I didn't really set up for putting these away. Um, I'm pretty sure I trust came before I burn, right? Right. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was the case. I actually found this on Mercari USA. Um, I actually just bought it, actually. It just came in the mail maybe like two days ago. Um, and I was really excited to find it because I'm having difficulty finding the last couple photo book cards for I Feel. Um, I was missing this Ugi, and then I was also missing, um, obviously you can see now, uh, Shua and another Ugi. So we'll be able to put this Ugi away, and then we will just be on the lookout for this last Ugi, and then this last Shua, and then um, I do have Polas and ID cards coming in probably in my next Bai haul. Um, so once I get that, those will be complete, but right now the mission, the main top priority is trying to find these last two photo book cards. They're proving very difficult to find. I don't know why that is, um, but yeah, hopefully we can find them. When it comes to the world tour cards, let's see what we want to do here. Um, I might just make another page. Um, actually, I won't make another page. I'm going to go ahead and use these pages so I get that hair out of the way. I'm going to use these pages and do three by three. So let me go ahead and remove all of these. These are the K-Town For You Pobs from... I love and since it doesn't really fall in line in terms of like uh, what sort I'm looking for chronological order like obviously they did I feel before they did this world tour but just in order to save space and save myself from having to dig out an extra page um, we're gonna go ahead and do it like this this I'm trying very hard not to knock the camera because I am very close to the camera. Um, let's do this. I'm actually really happy that they fit in a nine pocket page because I was a little concerned that they wouldn't. Um, the World Tour cards, that is. Um, Actually, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did CG Idol um, 
in the world tour. I saw them actually, did I do that the backs correctly? No, I didn't. Um, I did see G Idol in their world tour in Chicago at Rosemont Theater. Um, it was a very awesome show, had a lot of fun. Um, crowd was really into it. Um, I really, really liked when they sang I Do and pretty much the entire crowd uh, sang along to it. Um, so that was, it was a pretty cool experience. It was also a pretty long show too. I wanna say it was about, I don't know, two, two and a half hours. It was a pretty long encore. I think they did like five songs for an encore. Um, so definitely worth the money. Um, as we are almost done here. And then we're just gonna put some fillers back up here. All right, so that is the fan-made World Tour cards done. I just put them in here with the I Love Pobs, and I think it looks pretty good. I like how the backs, the backs actually kind of look good like this. I actually really like that. All right, so now in this same binder, we have some Everglow to put away. So let's go back to Everglow. Um, all right, here's Everglow. We have two pages, three openings, and of course we have four cards to put away. Um, but actually one of these group cards is a duplicate, so I think I'll just remove one of these group cards. I'll probably put it like my sale and trade binder or something like that. Um, so now we will have a full two pages of Everglow. So I have them arranged in member order, and then if it's I have multiple of the same member, I have it arranged in release order. So I have Asha and Mia here. I have one Mia. So we're going to do this. And then I'm gonna put this Mia, which is a, I think this was a K-Town for You pre-order benefit. All right, and then Asha, we're gonna move up right there and right here. This group card, we're gonna move down here. This Edon, move right there. This one, I really like this one, I like the hollow. And then let's do, let's do the black version first, or dark version, and then savage version. And then this is the pre-order benefit. So that is a full two pages of Everglow. I was actually just thinking, I think the lighting is okay. It's probably not the best lighting I could probably get. Um, I tried actually filming this during the day today, but there was construction going on outside and it was just, it was, it was not gonna be doable. Um, so unfortunately I have to film at night. Um, it's more quiet at night anyway, so you probably won't get as much background noise. But um, yeah, the lighting probably isn't the best. I'm trying to still try to figure out like what might be the best lighting. Um, but yeah, that is everything that's going to go into this binder. Um, I think the next binder that we will move on to will be uh, Red Velvet and Espa. So let me go ahead and get that binder. All right, so I have the Red Velvet and Espa binder here now. And let me just get this all into frame. Um, so I did look at it a little bit beforehand, how I want to organize things. I didn't set it up or anything like that, but I know I need three pages of seven cards and then one page of eight. So I'm thinking maybe this can be a page of eight because I do have two Irene's and two Wendy's. Uh, both of these Wendy's are actually forgot the beat, but I got the beat page on the, in the back of this binder, already has eight spots, and I don't wanna make a whole new page, forgot the beat, so I'm actually just gonna store them up here with the other Wendy's that I have that aren't complete sets. 
Um, so let me go ahead and figure things out here. So this is the red. This definitely needs to go towards the front if I can remember when that was released. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. Actually, we need to take two off of this page. So we're gonna keep this the eight page. And actually, which card is this? This is day one. So that does not go there. That's gonna need to go right there. And this is a day two card that I got. So day two going right there. I think the next red velvet, um, obviously, the, actually big news, um, they just announced, I'm recording this the day after they announced that Red Velvet's gonna have a new comeback in November. So super, super hyped for that. Um, I'm excited to see what they come out with. It's gonna be their third full album, which is their first full album since 2017, I think it is. Um, and I'm really, really excited for that because their B-sides are always super amazing. Red Velvet, queen of B-sides, we love it. Um, but yeah, so I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I think my next, um, other than obviously the most recent comeback that they announced, I think the next, uh, era that I'm going to focus on for Red Velvet will probably be day two. Is that a day two card? I just double checked. This is actually a day one card. I don't know why I thought that was a day two card. Um, which actually means that my day one cards for Irene are complete. Um, but to complete my thought, uh, my next idea was going to be to try and collect Red Velvet's uh, Reve Festival day two. Um, next, Try to stick to that. I was looking on Mercari Japan the other day and some of the card prices are a little insane. Um, they're about $20 for some of them, not all of them, but definitely some of them. I don't know what I'm doing here. Hold on, I need to focus. This needs to be a page of seven. So we got the two up there, these two together. And then this right here, and then what I do? Here's the other Wendy. This right there. All right, that looks good. Sorry, that was a little bit chaotic. Um, but yeah, I want to probably focus for Red Velvet. Obviously, with the exception of the new comeback, I want to focus on day two probably the most to try to collect next and kind of just work my way back. Obviously, I have a couple day two cards, um, but it's still not a full um, set or anything like that for any of them. Um, I actually am going to need to go back on the next page because I just realized I have two Irene's that I did not put away. And then let me actually put fillers here. I promise for Itzy Kill My Doubt, I fully set up everything so it won't be this chaotic for when I get into Itzy. Um, so we're gonna move these Wendy's around because I need two spots for Irene's SMC Palace cards up here. Um, I just didn't think it would be super beneficial um, to set up for these couple of cards that I needed to add to Red Velvet and Espa. Obviously, these Red Velvet pages, when I looked at them, only had three open spots, and of course, I have four cards. So, yeah. Um, we can put these two Wendy's right here. Perfect. All right, so let me do some. These are these are bad boy era. 
Then we have Summer Magic, which I believe came after that. And then we have this Day One card as well. I'm actually making pretty good headway now that I'm looking at it on my Day One collection for Red Velvet as well. So maybe once I work my way past Day Two, which I said was gonna be my next priority, maybe day one will be relatively easy. Because I know I have at least, I think, I, I know I have Irene's full set, I think, for day one. Um, and I'm not collecting Kinos, by the way. Kinos, uh, just, no. <laughs> I would love to have the Kino photo cards, but, and I know they put them back in print, and it sort of lowered the prices a little bit, but the Kino photo cards are still going for, like, $25 from what I've seen and yeah I would love to have the Kino photo cards but no too expensive not a fan of that but yeah so this is actually the last card here for Red Velvet so let me just flip back and go over so we added this Irene and this Irene and we organized them in eight seven seven and seven and in release order as well. All right, so now we have Espa to put away. So let's flip back to Espa, flip through the Red Velvet arrows. All right, so we are moving on to Espa, and I have the four world tour cards that they sell like at the venues um it was $15 for two of these which means you only get two in a pack for $15 I thought that was a little egregious but I feel like SM knows what they're doing because they know people will pay it um so I just bought the other two on Mercari USA um and yeah so we have the full set here I did not set up any pages for it, and I'm thinking this first page right here, since there's four empty spots, let's just add it to this page, and maybe somewhere down the line we can move them if need be. This is kind of my miscellaneous ESPA page too, anyway. Um, this is like sets that are not completed uh, at all and are going to take some time because obviously... These are SMCU Palace photo cards. I don't know why this one will not come out. I just need to get a grip on it. There we go. Um, I'm gonna do Karina up top on the top row here. And then I wanna do the world tour cards in this bottom four, kinda like how I did the K-Town for You cards um, right there as well. So we'll do this. Cool. And then we will add the World Tour cards. Um, I also saw, obviously, Espa uh, at their concert in Washington, D.C. Um, they were also amazing. They were kind of timid, I don't know, I want to say. Um, they were still really great and, like, really funny and whatever. Um, but during the talking parts, I don't know if they were just, like, out of breath or shy or whatever, but... It almost seemed like they, they were trying to decide, like, do we stay professional or do we just, like, chill or, like, are we vibing? It's, like, whatever. But um, it was still a really great concert. They were incredible performances. Um, I really liked all of their solo performances, um, but Giselle's was probably my favorite solo performance. I forget what song she covered, but it was it was really, really good. I'm sure you've probably seen, like, fan cams and stuff on Twitter. Um, but those are the World Tour cards. Um, that's it for my Red Velvet and Espa binder. Um, I actually made a mistake, and I have one card to put in the binder that we already looked at, and that is a Jisoo card from her vinyl album. So let me go ahead and switch to that binder real quick and just put that one card in there. All right, so we are back in the... G Idol Blackpink Soloists Binder. Let me just find Jisoo's solo page. Um, okay, so here's the solo page. These are all album cards. These are all pobs. And then these are also 
Hobbs. Um, in the interest of time, I think I'm just going to do this. So I'm gonna take this out. I have this card to put away. Get it closer to the camera. I wanna do an eight page layout. So let me do this. All these top ones are red at the back, so I don't think it really matters. Um, and then we'll just stick this right there. So yeah, this will be the last page for Jisoo. Um, I'm probably done collecting all of Jisoo's solo stuff. This was just the one card that I pulled in my vinyl album. Um, so we should be all done with Jisoo and this era. Obviously, if she decides to do another solo comeback, um, Blackpink would need to officially re-sign with YG. Um, that hasn't been announced yet or anything like that, but there's obviously speculation of if they are or not. So, um, But yeah, that's it for Jisoo, and now the only cards I have left are Itzy, and it's a lot, so let's get to it. Alright, so we have the Itzy binder now. We have quite a lot to put away in here. Um, I do first off have the rest of the Crazy in Love special edition cards. Um, and this will actually complete Crazy in Love for me completely. Uh, I haven't fully set up, but I have these first two pages kind of as I knock the tripod there. Uh, I have these first two pages set up uh, in a way so that we can just move them to the area that I want them. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, let's flip to Crazy in Love. Okay, so this is how I had the special edition stuff set up um, before these new cards. And so what I was thinking was I was gonna put the other selfie cards for the special edition on this page with the US or Target exclusive cards. And then I was gonna move the Make Star cards and make it a three by three with the far away special edition cards on the next pages. So let's go ahead and do that. My only question is, is do I want to have the other selfie cards flank the Target exclusive cards in the middle or have them next to each other? That is my question. Um, so Leah goes right here. Um, I kind of like that, question mark. Okay, so we got the other cards here and let me just put Yeji up here. And then Rujin. I think I kind of like that. I kind of like how the selfies flank the Target exclusive cards. And yeah, I actually like how the backs kind of line up as well. Um, so let me take out the rest of these make stars. And then we have Che to put in right there. And then we have Yuna to put in right here. All right, cool. So that's that. And then what I want to do is the other two pages that I took from the front are gonna go right here. All right, so let's do the signature ones down the middle. So this is not the signature one. So let's move both Yeji's up there. Then this Leah is a signature one. And then we got this Leah that we can put right here. Are these Rujins correct? Yes, they are correct. So then on this page, let's put the Make Star cards on this last column. So we got Yeji, Leah, Rujin. I really like that, that looks really nice. And I like the backs too. Um, and then Yuna, this is a signature card, so we'll have that in the center. Um, and then Shade Young, Boom, and this Shade Young, Boom. 
And then the last two. Actually, I just realized I'm calling these Make Star cards. They're not Make Star. They're with drama cards. I'm a dummy. Don't listen to me. Um, now we're just going to fill the top row with the fillers. And Crazy in Love is 100% complete to my liking. I'm not going to get any pops or anything like that. Um, any more pops. But yeah. So Crazy in Love, if we flip through, is all completely done with album cards. We have them three by three here. The rest of the album cards in the standard album and then special edition cards with the Target exclusive cards. And then the last special edition cards with the with drama pre-order benefits. Awesome. Next, I have some cards from the DVD that I unboxed, um, the Itzy Blu-ray DVD. Um, these are the actual cards that come in the DVD, and then these are Aladdin pre-order benefits. Um, and what I was thinking was making them go with my light stick or light ring cards. Um, so let me go ahead and get another page. So, let's go ahead and grab from this page, Yeji, Leah, and Rujin. And we're gonna organize it like this. Come on, there we go. Actually, I don't like how that's sitting in the sleeve. All right, now work for me, please. Thank you. All right, now we'll do the actual album, or not album, but DVD cards first in the middle, and then the Aladdin pre-order benefit cards will go on the far right. This Leah card, man, is really gorgeous. She looks really pretty. There we go. And then the Aladdin cards. All right, so that's the first page. The backs look pretty good, I like that. And then this will be the second page. I'm actually gonna do this, and then just remove that one. Then move the light ring cards to the far left for Yuna and Chaebyeong. Let's bring in the DVD Blu-ray cards. Bada bing, bada boom. And then the Aladdin cards. Perfect. I actually really like how this little section turned out here. Um, so done with the DVD cards. Now all we have left, you might've seen uh, my setup for Kill My Doubt is all of these cards. It is a ginormous stack, um, but it's album cards, pre-order benefits, things of that nature. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and get into that next. All right, so this is Kill My Doubt and how I have it set up. Um, so jacket, crown, and check mark cards. Then on this page, I have unit cards at the bottom. Then I have the Band-Aid cards here, the limited edition cards, um, the rest of those, and then more unit cards down here. Then I have the cassette cards, then the special edition cards, Pola, and the heart cards, the half heart cards. And then more unit cards right here. Then I have Make Star cards, the first set of which I already have. Then the other set of Make Star cards that I recently purchased. 
then MMT cards that I recently purchased, and then the last unit card. And then I also have this last page here of the five K-Town For You cards, and this last page here of the five clear cards. Um, so everything is not complete, but we are definitely going to make progress. The stack that I had is just lined up kind of in like age order. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull from the stack and fill them in where I have the little marker. Um, so we start with a Yeji. Next card I have is the jacket card. A little boxing jacket. Then the check mark card, which is the card where they're doing the little check mark pose. Uh, at least that's what I call it. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but let's do that. Then I have Yeji's band aid card. Then Yeji's earbuds. I have this is from the limited edition. Then this is the, what is this? This is the cassette card. Where's that at? All right. Now we go back to Leah, because that's all I have for Yeji. At least right now, I think I have a couple more Yejis maybe at the back of the stack. But we have the Leah jacket card. Um, this is also a day after where Leah slash JYP announced she would be taking a hiatus um, just for like, you know, anxiety and then health concerns and things of that nature. So hopefully she takes the time that she needs to recover from that. Um, they said that ITZY will still be promoting as a four member group, um, but obviously Leah will not be a part of that, unfortunately. But Health is most important, so we hope that she gets the rest and help that she needs. Because we obviously want her happy and we want her at full strength. So, um, next one I have is the Band Aid card. Um, I don't think Itzy has too much in the way of like comebacks anytime soon. I know they have a, a Japan or Japanese comeback. Um, relatively soon i think it's like october 18th i want to say i think the title track is called ringo um i actually listened to the i think it's the teasers for it and i actually think i might really like it um obviously it's just a teaser so we won't know for sure until it gets released but the teaser sounded really good so i'm excited for it um i will probably not be buying or collecting anything from their Japanese comeback because I haven't for any of their Japanese comebacks. So yeah, we'll probably just listen to the music on Spotify. <laughs> uh, and obviously like stream their MV and stuff to help support, uh, but we won't be buying any physical albums. Um, all right, so that is everything that I have for Leah. Now we need to go to Rujin, which I have her crown card. Rujin's crown. Then this is the picture in picture card from the special edition. I wrote Pip on the um, placeholder here. Anyone from that was born in the 1990s remember the picture-in-picture -picture button on your remote? Or am I incredibly dating myself right now? I'm probably incre incredibly dating myself right now. Um, but yeah, I thought that card was interesting because it is kind of like a picture-in-picture. -picture, so I was like, I'm going to label it that way. Next we have earbuds. I'm having difficulty for whatever reason finding... The limited edition and special edition cards that I'm missing from these, from this album, from this era. Um, I'm not sure why, 
but they just seem to be somewhat rare. Wow, we actually got a full page done here on the front page. That's cool. Um, so, Kill My Doubt may be completed a little bit slower than other Itzy comebacks, because I actually complete Itzy relatively quick every comeback, just because their cards are like so affordable. Um, but for whatever reason, it's not really the affordability issue, it's just the availability issue uh, for cards this comeback. So, um, maybe going a little bit slower than I normally do. Um, that is all we have for Rujin. Now we have Chade Ryung. We have the crown card. I actually think the crown set uh, is fully complete. Then Band-Aid card. There we go. Okay, then we gotta go back to the jacket. We have earbuds. And we also have the picture in picture card. I actually kind of like how the background for this kind of matches my post it notes. That's kind of funny how that worked out. Then check mark. Shader Young's Hola photo card and cassette. All right, and that's all we have for Shader Young. Let's move on to Yuna now. So we have Yuna's earbuds card. That's this right here. Boom, and then the check mark card. I think I also have, I think I mentioned this, but I think I also have her crown card as well. I guess that will appear later in the stack. Um, this is one of two special edition half heart cards that I have. I have Leah and Yuna so far. Um, I actually just purchased Rujins on Mercari Japan just the other day. Um, so that will be in the next haul. Jacket card, band aid card. There's the crown card. Wow, so are all three of these sets complete? All three of these sets are complete. So we got the jacket done, the crown done, and the check mark pose done for Kill My Doubt. That's pretty sweet. All right, and then we have the picture in picture card. Goes right there. And then the cassette card. All right, now we're getting into unit cards so first one i have is leah and yeji so that goes right here then i have yeji and Rujin. then i also have yeji and chaedion sorry if you can hear that car going by it's kind of loud and I also have Yeji and Yuna. Then Leah and Shady Young. Then we have Shady Young and Rujin.
And then we have Chae Young and Yuna. So we only have, I think, two or three of the unit cards that we're missing. So that's pretty good, doing good on unit cards. Um, next in the queue, I have the clear cards, and it's a full set. No, it's not a full set. Um, we have Leah's. We have Rujin's. And we have Yuna's. So we are missing Yeji and Chaedyoung. Um, these are kind of lower-ish on the totem pole just because they're clear cards, um, but I do obviously because I set up for them Still plan on getting them eventually Then we have the K-Town for you cards, which is a full set. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of these placeholders so we have Yeji And Leah Rujin, I really like these cards because the none of my business concept was probably my favorite from this comeback. Um, so yeah, these are the K-Town for you cards. And then the last thing that we have for today is the first set of Make Star cards. So I think I had mentioned in my photo card haul video that I recently purchased um, the other Make Star set that I liked. I don't know if they did more than two, but I'm just buying two. Um, it's the whatever Make Star set, where they're in the uh, Itzy baseball jerseys. And then they also had another set where MMT did another set of them and the Itzy baseball jerseys for a photo card set. So I purchased that one as well. Um, so that will probably be in the photo card haul uh, that I do next month. Um, I actually don't know what I'm going to be doing content-wise anytime soon. Um, obviously, Red Velvet's comeback happens in November, so that's quite a ways away. Um, I did uh, pre-order all of the versions for G Idol's English album that's supposed to release, I think, on the 5th of October um, so whenever I get those I'll obviously probably be doing an unboxing for all those um, but in terms of between now and then I'm not really sure what else uh, I can do in terms of content um, I was thinking maybe shelf tour or thinking maybe like I know I mentioned earlier that I was gonna do day two for red velvet next um, but I was thinking maybe do like an official setting up video um, for that era, but I don't know really if that would, you know, make a difference. Um, I obviously set up for this Itzy comeback off camera, and actually I wouldn't really know how I would do it on camera, just because the way the setup I have right now is, is like I'm on the floor, so that wouldn't exactly work out all that well. Um, but yeah, let's do a quick flip through of Kill My Doubt and all the cards I have so far. Um, so we pretty much have, we have full sets for the jacket, the crown, and the checkmark pose. We have a good amount of unit photo cards. We have all of the band-aid cards. We have all of the earbud cards. We have some of the picture-in-picture -picture cards. Um, all of the cassette cards. Still missing out on some special edition um, cards as well. And then the two uh, POB sets that I ordered, when those come in, um, will be nice. And then this K-Town For You set, and then the clear card set. Um, and then obviously these I put away earlier. Um, but that's it for all the photo cards that I'm putting away. So let me just figure out what I want to do for an outro frame, and then I'll outro. All right, so I just decided to pick a random Red Velvet page and leave off with my Itzy Kill My Doubt page as the outro frame. Um, I like the Fill My Rhythm cards, so that's why I picked this page. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video. Like I said, I made a Twitter, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, please do. Um, I'll put the link in my About section and also in the description of this video. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.